Hi, I'm Stephanie Maddox. I'm an executive sales rep in Montgomery, Alabama on the in the pediatric business unit. I've been with Santa Fe for almost 20 years and I am mom to Millie Maddox. Millie was born September 30th, 2010. Um, she was born at term at 39 weeks. Um, but unfortunately, when we had her, there was lots of health issues. Uh, she was born with Down syndrome and three holes in her heart. So you can imagine our journey with Millie. Um, it began that day. Her health journey um, really started that day. At the time, we had another daughter who was almost two years of age and in daycare. And I remember uh, very vividly our pediatrician telling us, Stephanie, we've got to do whatever we can do to protect Millie from the outside world. You know, we can try to keep her in a bubble, but, you know, really try to prevent her from getting anything that's out there right now, especially RSV, because she was born right at the beginning of RSV season. And my other daughter was in daycare, so we really worried about her spreading germs or bringing home anything, you know, from daycare. But there's really nothing you can do. I mean, it was life. It was what we had to do. Um, Millie had to go to many doctor's appointments back in Birmingham, which was almost a three hour drive from where we lived um, at the time. And uh, she unfortunately one morning woke up. Um, I noticed that her nose was a little stuffy. She was coughing a little bit, but I just knew in my gut something was not right. Um, she just didn't look the same, just something was really off. My husband was working out of town. Um, my, daughter, my other daughter was in daycare. So I just called the pediatric office and said, hey, I think something's wrong. Can I just bring her in just to get checked real quick? And they told me, absolutely, just bring her on in. And I told the nurse what was going on. And before the doctor could even come in, uh, she put the little oxygen monitor on Millie's toe and it was so tiny and I thought, oh, you know, what's this for? And she told me, I didn't think anything about it. Well, the, I remember the monitor going off and the nurse just looked at me and her face, I, I just knew something was wrong. And she said, 70, her oxygen level is at 85. That immediately Dr. Ramsey, our pediatrician came in. He said, Stephanie, we've got, to, you've got to go to the hospital now. Well, I mean, I was I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Um, this little tiny, tiny baby. I mean, she only weighed at birth a little less than five pounds. She had not gained much weight in those nine weeks. So she was so tiny and I was by myself. So I was scared, um, but I went to the hospital. They immediately got her in. Um, Later that day, he came over, the pediatrician came over and told me that she had bronchiolitis. And um, I was so scared. Um, everything that we had tried to do to protect her, um, I knew that she had RSV. Later, he confirmed that she did have RSV with bronchiolitis. And our journey began um, about, I guess, three days into it. He transferred us to Children's Hospital in Birmingham. Um, and there we sat for almost two weeks. Day in and day out, watched her um, have difficulty breathing. Um, we felt helpless, scared. There was really nothing we could do. There was no magic medicine. There was nothing that they could do for her, but oxygen and nebulizer treatments. So every I think it was every four hours, maybe, maybe even earlier than every four hours, but we would have to pick her up and lay her over our shoulder and the respiratory therapist would come in and just wave this nebulizer all around her face. Um, she did have to be put in this little oxygen tent um, and she had other oxygen uh, as well. Thankfully, she was never put on the respirator, um, but we were so close. And all we could do was just pray that she was going to get better. And, you know, there's so many emotions when you're there at that moment. You are upset, you're angry, 
um, you feel guilty because we had another daughter and I felt like it was my fault that I didn't protect Millie from the other stuff or maybe I should have tried to keep my other daughter at home. There's just so many emotions that parents go through and I, I, I prayed, I was like, I never want to go through this again um, because it was awful. It was a horrible situation. But we made it through it. Um, we came home. She did remarkably well. Um, but then every single winter, and Millie will be um, 13, September 30th, and every single winter since that time in the hospital, she has res respiratory um, infections. It's amazing what RSV can do to a baby. Um, it, it's just really sad. Um, so I'm just thrilled that I'm able to, in this position that I'm in, to be able to share my story um, in hopes that no other parent would ever have to go through what my husband David and I went through with our daughter.